All right, family. So today, today, lesson right, we wanted to film and start getting this word out because we want to use as much, get as much work out as we can do with the time and getting this truth out. So today, buy the truth and sell it not. You know, right now, it's a hunt for this truth. You know, some people uh, will... Waking up on their time, I don't want to say late, but waking up on the time the Most High is giving them. And right now, you know, everybody's on a, uh, it's like a gold rush right now, trying to see where is it at, right? Where where do I start? You know, I'm behind. I've been hearing about this knowledge. I've been hearing about that Israelite talk. You know, I, I see what's going on in the world. Man, where, where do I start? Where do I go? And he said, knowledge is going to be increased in the last days. And right now, I mean... Every which way you go, I mean, we just pray that the Most High uh, get everyone to where they're supposed to be, where they need to be to endure in these troublous times. Uh, but Brother Lama Wai, what, what you see about uh, everyone trying to be on this hunt for this truth right now? I'm seeing a lot of sincerity. A lot of people really want to know, like, I mean... They feel like they've been left out, and they, they really seeking now. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, so all the praise to the Most High, because I, I couldn't imagine this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Family, if it's, you got to bear with us if it's a little echo today, because we're trying something new, um, seeing how it go. But, but yeah, it's uh, everyone's trying to figure it out. You know, you know, you got a date with the Most High. You want to make sure that you got, you got your credentials. You, you want to make sure that you doing what he sought out for you to do to get his kingdom. And some people don't really know the way they need to come to, to Christ. We know that that's the, that's the key to the door, right? If you want to get in, we know that he's at the door and you can't come in no other way like John chapter 10 say. But let's, let's get it going. Let's get Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 23. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, and verse 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. You better get some truth. You better get you some truth. You can't flip it. You got to keep it. You know, you try to buy something. I'm going to flip this. Nah, you can't flip this. You got to buy the truth and sell it not. You got to keep it. Uh-huh. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Mm-hmm. You got to get, get that understanding of the Most High God. This word of the Lord, all this other understanding we've been getting on how to operate in this world. But what about this understanding about God, about what's the truth? Am I on the right path? I think I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Do you really know the most high? Do you really know his law? Do you really know what's what's pleasing to him? You know, do you really know? Let's go to uh, let's get that in the Hebrew. Let's get uh. The truth. Let's get H. What's that? H7069. Uh, this is H7069. In Hebrew, it's Kana. Kana means to get or acquire. Mm -hmm. Acquire. You better get that truth. Finish. Guess let's get some more. So lucky that's all i wrote down for the uh for the definition that's but it had many more to buy or obtain mm -hmm. and the, uh the strongs that i remember mm -hmm. let's go to matthew chapter 13 verse 1 acquire the truth get you some truth sell it not because right now they don't know where they they don't a lot of people don't know where to go. They just sitting on stuck waiting for CNN and Fox News to give them the truth. We don't we're not really waiting on what they gotta say. We just kind of check it out just to see what they coming with. But we already know the end game because we know the truth. We up in this. Uh, let's start at verse one. Matthew thirteen. Come. It's the book of Matthew chapter thirteen and verse one. The same day when you shy out of the house. And sat by the seaside 
and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they lay, where they had not much earth, and forwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of the earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So the mystery is not really given to everybody. I mean, even with even with people hearing, like, do they really hear? Do they really see what's going on? Because you got to keep this law so you be so you could be clean. Like like it say, wisdom of Solomon in the first chapter, that Ruach. That Ruach Kodash, that spirit holy, that holy spirit is not going to dwell in a temple filled with sin. So you could think, I know I'm Israel all you want. And that's what everyone's banking on. And you got some people saying, right, well, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter what your lineage is. No, you got an inheritance of rulership and a position in the kingdom to come. And the Most High has a, a portion for these Gentiles that's called by his name. And he got a portion for the Israelites, this kingdom uh, being prepared. Let's get it. Let's go Acts chapter 1 verse 6. Let's just get that real quick. It's the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Mm -hmm. They know he was coming to restore the kingdom to Israel. Some of them were thinking at that time, no, nah, for this eternal kingdom, right? Where your enemies going to be bound down, the wicked rulers of this earth, the Amalekites, and those that's following Lucy, like it says in uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 14. You're going to you possess your enemies, those that oppress them, gonna, they're going to be a possession for handmaids and servants. So the wicked rulers of this world, they don't really want, they don't want that. Uh, they want to keep the rulership the way it's going. They're not looking. They're not going out without a fight. All the wars in this world, all the chaos that's been going on, and they're not going down without the biggest fight that 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 they have ever put together. That Roman Empire. More on this truth. Go. Uh, finish that out. Matter of fact, let's finish that out. Let's go to uh all the way through. You want to go back to Matthew? Come on. Verse Sticking 12. up at Matthew chapter 13 and verse 12. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he had. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Because they seeing not, it's like you, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not. Hold on, hold Neither on. Neither do on. they understand. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back to verse 12 and bring that out again. Verse 12 For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. Mm -hmm. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him, shall be taken away even that he had mm -hmm. so those that know a little bit and you go run around like yeah yeah let, let me show wait I, f I forgot i forgot what i i forgot how to break this down it, it, i know it's somewhere you ain't studying to show yourself approved you not keeping this first you gotta always come back to this even if you fall off a little bit my son house thou sin go and sin no more like you say in ecclesiasticus 
you got to make sure this this your number one priority is the most high. No matter what you're doing, this the, the number one priority is the most high. You can't do nothing else unless you're dealing with him first. Finish reading. Verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should and should be converted mm -hmm. and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to, to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. Mm -hmm. Because many other prophets before, they knew these days would come. So while our people is running away from it, it's not true. Oh, yeah, that's a white man's book. Oh, Caesar Borgia. Oh, no, no, they made that up. They, they made that up to just control the people. And it's like, our people, even the men back then, probably look at the men today like, man, what's going on? What? You, you, this ain't real. What are you talking about? You don't see you don't see the games being played on you since birth. Your destruction on a, a broadcast to the whole world to see. Your destruction is entertainment. Your destruction brings in billions of dollars, right? Many prophets have they wish they could see the prophecies being fulfilled right now, like our people waking up, coming to the law. Trying to really come together up, up under this law. It's the only way that our people can come together. How can we come together with one man telling us what to do in this earth? It's going to fall apart. It always has. But this law make us check, check ourselves, right? Finish reading. God. And to hear those things which you hear. And have not heard them. Verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom. And understandeth it not. Then cometh the wicked one. And catcheth, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he. Which received seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places. The same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no root. You heard the word. Yeah, man. We yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, man, that's deep. You heard it. You was excited. You probably even went got baptized. You probably was you probably was street preaching. You probably was over helping people in this walk. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just we just gonna keep it real, family. We ain't seen some people really overseeing a whole flock and just totally just going off bad to some different doctrine, dealing with some other stuff. We pray the most high, keep us, keep us all, and that we all endure because, I mean, psh, Satan's he trying to get you. He wants you even more. He want to see. Remember how he was tempting Job? Man, you take that hedge of protection off. I know he'll curse you. Yeah, you start taking some things from you. I bet you they will be talking that Israelite stuff. How many people, how many entertainers <laughs> getting that bag took right now saying, oh, no, we, we not with Kyrie no more. No, we that Kanye, yeah, yeah, he crazy. How many done went back into their shell after first they were speaking about, yeah, we Israelites. They start touching that bag. You say, hold, hold, hold on, I didn't mean it like, I didn't mean it like that, boss. <laughs> Finish reading. Verse 21, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. 
So you come around for, for a while. You come around for a while. Uh huh. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by, he is offended. Mm -hmm. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. You had to go get your bag. You had to go get your money first. Lord, I'm going to come back. Well, let me go get this money first. How many people had to go back? How many people had to go back, right? When he call you, ain't no going back. Remember Elijah? Wait, let me go back. Uh, ain't, ain't, it's no going back. This all you got. You think you're going to get a kingdom and you're going to be able to just move when, when you want to when you want to move and you chosen for this? You can't go back. It's no going back once you're in this. One second. Let's go to John chapter 4, verse 6. This is the book of St. John, chapter 4 and verse 6. Now Jacob's well was there. Isaiah, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. No, Isaiah stayed John, unto her. John 14, verse 6. Right here. It's the book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 6. Isaiah saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Mm -hmm. He's the way, he's the truth. By the truth, sell it not. You got to see what was he, what, how am I supposed to move? He the one I got to look at. And you can't be going back. Go to uh, Matthew chapter 8. Let's start at verse 21. Let's get 21 and 22. No, no, no. Through 23. 21 through 23. Uh, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 21. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. I got to go handle some business real quick. Uh huh. But Yeshua said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. They already done with that. If they ain't following me, you got to come this way. We got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. I got I to gotta show you the way to wake these people up for this eternal judgment. Because the Lord got that big supper coming. We going we gonna to come into it. He got that. And he done, and it say he bid his guest. He got a slaughter. And then many shall sit with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for that good feast, right? For that wedding, you know, when you go, when you go to wedding, it's all right, it's time to eat. All that, 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 that the world that we do, that's what the most high is preparing on that day of judgment. You gonna see, you gonna, it's gonna be a big old feast. It's a celebration. That's why he say he, Israel is, is like a, uh, a, we a bride, right? And that's what it is. It's that wedding of this eternal kingdom. So you got to get ready. You got to be ready. You got to be ready to go. You got to be ready to do this work. He the way, the truth, the life. Let's go uh, Luke chapter 21. Verse 5. It's the book of Luke. Chapter 21 and verse 5. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts. He said, as for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, 
saying, I am Christ. And the same draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and, con and uh, commotions, be not, it's like you, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and, persecu and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. They're going to start. It's going to come a time where a lot of us going to be persecuted for this truth. Just like back after after the uh, the fall of Jerusalem, when they was taking them back to Rome and hostages, throwing you in there against them lions, tigers, and bears. Your forefathers had to go through a lot. We're going to go through some stuff too if you're really trying to make it through this. Everything is comfortable in America, right? In Babylon. You can still go to the store, store, get your food. It's a lot of things you can still do, but the destruction to come, who's really, who's going to really make it? You can't make it through a little vaccine sauce. You, you scared, you scared of that part. It's, it's a lot more to come. Finish reading. Verse 13. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts. Not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. And your patience possesses ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein to. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. That all things in the book shall be fulfilled. Why are they talking about peace in the Middle East? Ain't no peace there. Why are they in the land? It's going to be straight destruction there until the real Israelites are in the land. How do we know that? Go to uh, Isaiah chapter 2. It's going to be straight destruction there to the real people in the land. They don't belong there. So when they say, yeah, Israel done took over the Palestinians. No, nah, this used to be called the land of Judea. They done took the land and now they done took the land. People so far removed from history because they don't got that truth. They don't have the truth. They don't know where to buy the truth. Like you say, buy the truth, sell not. They don't know how to get the truth. They don't know where it's at. You thinking that it's it belonged to Ishmael and the and the Palestinians and what what they mixed with the Ishmaelites and the uh, Ammonites, all that mingled together to mingle people. It don't belong to neither of them. Let's go to uh, let's go to Isaiah two and three. No, uh, let's start at two. Let's start at two. Look at Isaiah chapter two and verse two. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain thereof. Oh, it's like it. The mountain of the Lord to the house of God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people 
and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be no more wars once, once the real people in the land. Everywhere they go, they shedding blood. Let's go to, uh, let's get Romans chapter 8. Let's go Romans chapter 8. Buy the truth and sell it not. It's not for sale. You see, what you see an old school car, you selling that, it's not for sale. <laughs> Go Romans chapter 8 from the top. It's the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Yeshua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Yeshua hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm, because if you was breaking the law... Back then, you would be dead already. Now, not only do we just talk about us being in America, being being spoiled, right? Even through this captivity, because he still got your grace to get yourself together. With a lot of people making excuses, right? If you come back to this law. But think about that. There was no grace back then. You was getting stoned for some of the stuff our people doing. It was full-fledged correction. Finish reading. Verse 3. For what the law could not do, and that it is, it's like it, for what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So you got to be in this spirit of the law. If you doing on these two, hang all the law. If you moving like Christ, you fulfilling the law. Christ wasn't walking around just eating a lot of pork. Christ wasn't robbed, mm -hmm. stealing and killing. Christ was speaking the truth. Christ was baptized. Christ was an Israelite. He was still telling gent he look. Gentile, this what this is what you're gonna do when the lady was at the well, right? The Canaanitish woman. Finish reading. Verse five. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of this. It's like he is none of his. Mm -hmm. So, Old Testament only people. Mm -hmm. So, no baptize. No loving your neighbor. No, we got to make sure we measured it by it. We got we to gotta measure it by how he was moving. Finish reading. Verse 10, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. If Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. Uh-huh. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Brother Lama Wad, can we get that a precept on that? What is his righteousness? Let's get, uh, what's that? Go to uh, Psalms 119. And one and one forty two. So many verses in one nineteen. Come, 
It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Mm -hmm. And that lawgiver from the tribe of Judah. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Go to go to Psalms. Uh, da da da. Psalm sixty. Psalms. Let's see if I get it with you. Let's go Psalms. Uh. 60 and 7. Bring that out. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 60 and verse 7. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Judah is his lawgiver. Christ is his lawgiver. Who's from the tribe of Judah? Judah bringing that law. Christ coming to bring that law. So-called black man, right? Let's go to uh. Let's go back to what you had in in, in Romans eight. Uh, <clears throat> the book of Romans chapter eight and verse eleven. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yeshua from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Mm -hmm. So when he come to purge the earth, you better make sure you got his spirit. Because if you don't, you know what time it is. Finish reading. Verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Let's get that mortifying those deeds. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3. The truth, the truth sound like it's a lot, right? It is when you coming up out of the world and you've been just your spirit and your mental just been brainwashed. But when... You come back to this simplicity in Christ, then it becomes easier. It's because, you know, a lot of people, you got you got some parents that was, you know, teaching their children evil. You know, so it's like, man, that's all they know. So this law was given. Hold that Colossians 3. Go uh, 1 Timothy. This law was given to get us back on track with the Most High. Let's go uh 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. No, let's start at verse 8 and 9. Let's get uh 8 and 9. It's the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 8 through 10. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Knowing this that the law is not made for a righteous man. Mm -hmm. It wasn't made for a righteous man. Who was it made for? Because some people are blinded, right? Who was it made for? For the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure this law was to correct mankind. So when they say you can't keep God's law, then what you measure in righteousness by? Because you, because now they think what D. Wade and Gabrielle do, doing with that young man is okay. Right now, they think Lil Nas X is okay. And Judah men is just shutting up. They not saying nothing. No response. Go back to uh, uh chapter 8 in Romans. Did you point that Colossians? It's like that's what we was at. Uh, Colossians chapter 3. More to From the top? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, 
Seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concup concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And that's part of it too. Forgiveness, all of this is part. If Christ is the truth, we got to do all these things. That's pleasing, right? Forgiveness, that's a hard one, right? That's a hard one in this world. Forgiveness. So you got to be forgiven too because you want the most high to forgive you for a lot of the wickedness you was participating in. Let's go Hebrews chapter 2 because you was in bondage. Get that one second. Go Hebrews chapter 2. What's up? No, let's go to. Uh, let's start at verse 14 through, through uh, 15. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Because mm -hmm, you in bondage you, when you, you fear in death, right? The fear of death have us all in bondage. But you free when you walking in Christ, you know you got life. When you walking uh -huh. in that truth, you know, okay, I got life at the end of this. I'm good. It's death in this world on this side. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 19. No, let's go to Matthew chapter 25. Let's get that up from the top. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a 
a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. The bridegroom, he cometh. He on his way. Come get him. Uh huh. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil. Nope. For our lamps are gone out. Nope. We bought the truth and we selling it not. Uh huh. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Mm hmm. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went so like it, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. Mm -hmm. What they and say the door was shut. If you stay ready, you don't gotta get ready. And you wasn't ready, you playing. You thinking you so special and you got so much time left. You mm -hmm. thinking you so special and God just loves me. You done, you done learned about a whole different God. That's not the God of Israel. It say he loved judgment. He, <laughs> the God of Israel, you talking about, you talking about, you guys are just bringing it so hard. The most high, it, man, look, better get it together because it's uh -huh. a lot of people that been talking crazy about the most high, this book, this awakening, all of it. And they passed on and made the most high have mercy on, on their soul. Because you think you, you in so control in this world, you don't got no control once your soul is gone. You be, be putting that wherever he want to put it at. Finish reading. Verse 11. Afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is a, is a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents. No, we, we to another gonna, two. We went, we went to another one. one. I wasn't going to go into the talents. Let's go, let's go into uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. So stay ready. You don't got to get ready. Keep this truth. Keep what you know. Stay studying. Because it's real easy to lose focus in this world. You pick up that phone, you might not put that thing down for an hour or two. <clears throat> Let's get that verse. 19 and what? Let's go uh, Matthew 19 and 28, verse 28. Um, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 28. And Yeshua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. He also shall sit up upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, he's going to bring the judges back. He's bringing the judges back. Go to uh, Isaiah chapter 1, I think verse 26. He's bringing the judges back. Let's go 26. Yeah, 1 and 26. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 26. And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Mm -hmm. So he bringing all that back. You're not going to be able to just do what you want to do. Get with the program. Go second address chapter two. Let's start at verse 28, uh, 38. It's the book of second address chapter two and verse 38. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. We told you the most high. The scripture said the Lord, he, he got a feast coming. Many shall sit down with Abraham. Isaac. He got a feast coming. So this truth, you better hold on to it. Hang on to it. Grip tight. 
finish reading. Verse 39, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Most High that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Esdras, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Most High with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive psalms, palms like you. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of God whom they have confessed in the world. Mm -hmm. We confessing it. What you into? This Bible. We standing firm on this. We're not worried about what you talking about. And they uh -huh. and, they, and we know that you are look, if you ain't in this, you're done already. You done already. Go go hold that. Go John chapter three. You done already if you ain't got this. That's why we stiff in this truth. You 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 get this truth, you like, man, look. Look, Negro. <laughs> you like look. Listen here. Go John chapter 3, verse 19. No. 18. It's the book of St. John, chapter 3, and verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. You done already. You don't got no sacrifice. Matter of fact, read the next verse. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than the light. They love that darkness more than light. Think about this. Why are you so mad about this Bible? Why are you so upset about this Bible? Aren't you tired of your people being destroyed? What's so wrong with this book? Oh, man, they pushing that on us. You look like you need it pushed on you. You need to clean yourself up. But you you hate this light. You hate this light. You love this darkness world. You love the dark of this world. You love what your favorite rapper is spilling out. You love what the Gentile nations is giving you as entertainment. You love it. You don't, you don't want to repent. You want to you wanna do what you want to do. Finish reading. Verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And they don't want, they don't want reproof. Go back to uh Second Edges chapter uh two. Finish that up. Uh, second Edges chapter two, picking up in the middle of verse 47. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the most high. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the most high thy power thou hast seen. So you seen some prophetic things. You you seen that stuff. You seen some glory like Ezekiel seen. You seen some glory like Moses seen, like Enoch seen. He seen some glory. He was taken up in the heavens and seen some prophecies, right? Those that standing up stiff for the name of the Lord and getting crowns. Let's go to uh, Matthew uh, 8 and verse 11. About, about four more scriptures. Let's go Matthew 8 and 11. Uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 8 and verse 11. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west 
and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Some of the children of the kingdom, some of them, a lot of Israelites, just because a lot of them not going to make it. They don't want it. They don't want Christ to rule over them. They just fine with what Edom is giving them in this world. They want their money with they want with Benjamin Franklin's face on it. They want the money with George Washington, Thomas Paine. I don't even know the rest of them. <laughs> but, but they just want that. I'm good with this. Look how much of, of Master's paper I could get. The mo the money phone. <laughs> Our people jacked up. This this all we got left. This is all this is all we got left. The most high with the perfect plan. Go Zephaniah. Matter of fact, Amos 9. Amos 9. We don't got nothing left. This it. No Elijah Muhammad. No Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Definitely not no Umar Johnson. <laughs> Definitely not. Who else they got right right now? I mean, everybody else just. Ah, let me stop. It's getting late. Amos nine, <laughs> verse. Let's go nine. Just get Amos nine and nine, nine through ten. Look at, matter of fact. Look at Amos chapter nine and verse nine. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Mm -hmm. He want to see if you bout it. He want to see what what whose team you on. Finish reading. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, ye shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. What that next verse say? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent <laughs> us. Man, man, ain't nothing gonna happen. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Right? Our people think, oh, yeah, 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 all right. Oh, you laughing now, but he say he coming to repay those with all those hard speeches. And they them, them grown, big old men going to be scared. He say it's going to be like a woman in travail, like giving birth. Scared. Mm -hmm. Gnashing of teeth. Scared. Gnashing of teeth. Go, go Zephaniah 1 and 5. Two more scriptures. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 5. The book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 5. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and swear by the Most High. Mm -hmm. And that swear. What they say, the Most High. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm with that. Uh huh. And that swear by Malcolm. And them that are turned back from the Most High. And those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for him. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Most High Power. For the day of the Most High is at hand. For the Most High hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guests. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Most High sacrifice. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. Jump it down to 12. Verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their on their leaves that say in their heart. The Most High will not do good, neither will he do evil. He ain't doing nothing. Jump it down to 14. Verse 14. The great day of the Most High is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even in the voice of the day of the Most High. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and of desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. That that a real day of, Independence Day. Remember how mm. they, how it was just coming? They was looking up that real Independence Day. Last scripture, Isaiah uh, twenty six and two. It's the 
book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. Mm -hmm. Buy the truth, sell it not, keep the truth. Endure the truth. Remember them parables. You receiving it on stony ground? Is, is you is you stiff? You gonna go back? You gotta know it's nothing else, it's nothing else out there. Right? You don't work hard for everything else, so keep this truth. Buy this truth, sell it not. So with that oh. family, we'll go into some questions, but I, I definitely have to go. Um, anything, Lama Wat? And the Lord shall uh, scatter I, thee among all people, great right? lesson. from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, will I bring you again 